What's going on everybody? It's your boy, it's your boy, first thing first. If you guys know me, you know I'm blunt. I keep it 100 on the channel at all times. I will never bullshit you guys ever. Today's video, I'm guys, I'm pretty much gonna give you the breakdown of why people tend to fail the ass valve so often. Okay, I'm gonna give you the breakdown of why individuals fail, and I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of trips and secrets on how you can mentally prepare uh, to take the ASVAP test. For those who don't know what the ASVAP test is, that is the intro level test that every single individual must take to be eligible in order to join the military. It doesn't matter what branch of service, but armed service, vocational aptitude, battery test. That's what the test means. It's a 10 section test, general science, paragraph comprehension, arithmetic reasoning, word knowledge, and math knowledge. Those five sub uh, subjects for the most part will pretty much make up what's known as a GT um, in the Marine Corps, makes up pretty much a GT score. And the last five sections are just pretty much miscellaneous sections. Just gonna see how well you know um, in regards to like miscellaneous things, everyday things, electrical systems, um, auto shop information, uh, things of that nature, mechanical information, things of that nature. Um, that's pretty much the purpose of the test. Here's why so many individuals fail the ASVAP. So many individuals fail the ASVAP because they take the ASVAP. Now, I know a lot of you guys are saying, what do I mean in regards to that? There's actually two tests that individuals can take in order to be eligible to join the military, um, especially the Marine Corps, because in the Marine Corps, uh, very rarely do we actually get people or have them take the ASVAP. There's another test that's called the PICAT test, okay? If you come see me, you come see a Marine Corps recruiter, we will pretty much register you for what's known as a PICAT test, okay? That test is essentially around the exact same as the ASVAP test. It's much shorter than the ASVAP test, and it's not time. So individuals who are slow test takers, you guys know who you are. The slow test takers who went off and take the ASVAP and fill the ASVAP because, you know, their brain can't function and think as fast as the test is. It's a three hour test for the most part, but you'd be surprised by how many people run out of time on the test, right? Um, the PICAT is a untimed test. It is also a proctor test as well, meaning that the same rules apply whenever taking the ASVAP test. No calculator is allowed. No one is able to help you out, okay? And it's actually um, another thing in regards to the PICAT test as well. It's called a verification test. They're gonna pretty much make sure, they're pretty much gonna ask you some of the exact same questions to ensure that you were the exact same or the, the only person taking that test for the most part. They're gonna ask you questions only that you have solved. So there's really no cheating in regards to the PICAT either, okay? And if you guys do end up failing the verification test, this is gonna roll you over to the ASVAP secret. Anyways, moving forward, a lot of individuals fail the ASVAP because they're unprepared to take the test. Now, the test is pretty much based off of 10th grade information. Um, like I said before, it's based off of general science. Why are you guys studying history and studying things that has nothing to do with the ASVAP test? You're just wasting time, okay? Study some general science some general, general science. Pull out a periodic table. Understand how periodic tables work. Understand the different, you know, elements that make up a periodic table, okay? Understand what different vertebrae are, different fish species, uh, reptiles, things of that nature. Oh my gosh, for the love of God, understand what friction is. I, friction, what is friction? For everyone, what is friction? Just go ahead and pause the video and answer the question. You guys have it. You guys will shit your pants whenever you see how many individuals who don't know what friction is and pretty much get every single answer wrong in regards to friction on the test. All right? It's, it's just beyond me. Those are the things that you guys need to study for, okay? Get with the recruiter. Ask the recruiter. The recruiter will tell you exactly the 10 sections of a test so the way you can better prepare yourself, okay? A lot of time what the individuals fail is they overstudy, okay? They spend way and way and way too much time studying to where they just pretty much data dump everything that they have learned um, early on throughout their study. For instance, it shouldn't take you a month to study for the ASVAP. I don't care who tells you to take that long to study. It shouldn't take you, uh, it shouldn't take you a month to study for the ASVAP. Um, there's lots of different practice tests that you can find on the internet just by searching it. Uh, you can take a practice each at any Marine Corps recruiting office. You can go to recruiting office and take a practice each to see how well that you can potentially do on the ASVAP. Um, and some of those things, what the, what the, uh, the questions that you are getting on those tests 
Those need to be the things that you actually study and refresh your mind about. Don't waste too much time studying things that has nothing to do with the ASVAB test because it's not going to help you at all. Okay? And for the paragraph comprehension, there's no study in paragraph comprehension. It's either you can read or you can't. So if you can't, if you can't read, just expect to, to do really shitty in that port. Um, I'm, I'm as blind as I can possibly be. Okay? Some of the healthy habits to, uh, to pretty much learn before you take a actual proctored ASVAB or PICAT test is you need to understand math. Okay? Not just looking at it question and you know guessing in your head the answer you need to actually you need to remember and learn how to actually write the math down on scratch pieces of paper because there's no calculators on these tests uh you need to learn your different formulas for the most part okay so if you take those practice tests ahead of time you're going to get some of those questions it's going to ask you what it's what is five factorial okay five factorial that's like what five times four times three it's like a different it's like it's a lot of words and it's going to be like a lot of different um, questions that's going to trip a lot of people up because they may not know what it is so that's why it's important to at least take a different take maybe I don't know four or five different versions of a practice test four or five different versions because nine times out of ten you're going to get different questions in each one of them and some of those questions that they're asking you they're pretty much going to ask you the exact same thing on the actual test but it's pretty much going to be switched up a little bit. Arithmetic reasoning. That is math and word form. If grandmama had three pies, baked two more, and gave one of them away, how many pies does she have now? Write everything. Whenever I tell people to practice and study for the ASVAB, or whenever they actually take in the test, I remind them, you need to be writing down every single number that you see on those questions. Read the shit in its entirety. I read, read the questions in its entirety. Last but not least, this is the most crucial one. Process of elimination. Yes, it still works even on the ASVAB test. Process of elimination. I, I pretty much tell people to use this strictly for the word knowledge. There should be Maybe there's, you know, a couple other sections, maybe general science to where you can get away with it. Mathematics, you should not be using process of elimination for mathematics at all. You should be writing the information down on a piece of paper to get your right answer. Math is one of those things is you can't use process of elimination. That's not how that works because you already know math will fuck you up any day of the week. Okay. Other sections. Yeah. Word knowledge. Use the word in a sentence. I swear to you, you have heard that word somewhere before. You have, you will hear the words that you get on the word knowledge section. You have heard that word somewhere before, whether it's on TV, whether it's in school, um, everyday conversation, use it in a sentence. Don't be afraid to use different variations of the word as well. You got to use different variations of the word as well. For instance, um, initiate. What does initiate mean? There's different ways that you can use the word initiate. You can use it in a sentence. You can use it like in a past print or a past tense, a present tense. Those are the things that you need to be using and thinking about whenever you're taking the word knowledge or the word knowledge section of the test. Use it in a sentence. Use it in different ways, okay? Don't just use it in one sentence and think, okay, this makes sense for the most part. Process of elimination. You may see some of those words under the answer choices, okay? If you understand what the answer choices are, if those answer choices Let's just say two of those answer choices mean the exact same damn thing. Then obviously you know that those are not the answers because Kate happy and uh, enthusiastic or happy and playful or cheerful, right? Those pretty much mean the similar thing. So those can be process of elimination as well for the most part, depending on what the actual word is, what your actual question is, okay? There's just small little tricks like that that will... Uh, pretty much help people whenever they go to take these tests. But if you guys want more information in regards to um, the process of the ASVAB test or uh, the PICAT test, which I just mentioned, feel free to hit me up on Instagram. Uh, for those in the Southern California area, I am located in the Southern California area in the city of Downey. So if you guys have any more questions, um, you're around the area, feel free to reach out to me. And I will be of great assistance to you and make sure I answer any questions that you guys may have.
Uh, but the ASVAB test is a test that should be taken seriously. ASVAB PICAT test, essentially because once you fail that test, you got to wait 30 days in order to, to take it again. And there's different factors and things that comes into play for the most part. But trust me when I mean this. All right, if you want to be taken care of, go see some Marines, all right? Because we're going to make sure you guys take the PICAT test so that you're not wasting your time taking the actual ASVAP test, which is much, 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 much harder. There is, you don't want to do it. Trust me, all right? Other than that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for your time, for watching the video. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section. If you guys are new, feel free to subscribe to the channel because I'm always going to be making content. Till next time, it's your boy, and I'm out. Peace.